Okay, uh, so I wanted to start like a new series just talking about uh, what went down uh, the, during the week for uh, AR defense, uh, talk about defense, talk about uh, improvements, talk about changes, take a look at every replay, see where we're going, see what's going on. Um, yeah, so I mean, especially now that I have like a defense that is, uh, what's the word, more intentional. Like I said last time, my defense before was just sort of whatever I had decently geared uh, just put it on there let it uh, do its thing uh, but this time um, you know I, I put a lot of work in, into trying to make sure I have a decently good defense so um, let's go take a look see how it did uh, see where I'm, I'm, I'm failing a lot see what things I can sort of patch up uh, I mentioned like when I finished I mentioned like it, it's I'm in a good place right now because I don't have to summon anymore um, which is pretty good I mean you know, you always want to summon. Make sure you're you're staying up with the power curve, especially you know you want to, you want your merges on your mythics, uh, your defense mythics, and um, your attack mythics, and all that stuff. Um, but in terms of like units that I just want to build and all that stuff, like all that stuff's basically done. I mean, the only person who has who needs more merges is uh, Mini Minerva, and she's uh she's a Grail unit, so that's that's you know that that's just gonna happen over time. Um, but yeah, so I mean, what the, what what the position I'm in now becomes more. Instead of just summoning to complete stuff, it's more like okay, now I need to summon, save orbs for potential patches. I what might what might patch up my my defense currently. Uh, but yeah, so let's let's get in there. Take a look at uh, how it went. I actually dropped down, so before we go there, I guess let's go check uh, here. Uh, I have like three videos I have to put out today, so I think what I'm gonna do is. Make my uh, Aether Raids uh, offense video, upload that tomorrow. I'm, I'm going to have to film it right now, but upload that tomorrow on Tuesdays from now on. Uh, and then Mondays will be for Guild War on Epic 7 and then uh, Arena Defense Overview uh, for for Fire Emblem. Uh, hopefully it's not too big a deal, but uh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I guess just looking at this, I'm in tier 24. Are we on the top end? We're kind of close to 25, so we can kind of call it 25. Um, I have 240. So, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, it does look like tr jumping three tiers looks kind of uh, iffy if I can do that, but uh, we'll, we'll see how things go. Um, what was the other thing? So, yeah, so basically I have two full attacks with a half attack. But that, that'll be, I'll, I'll talk about that in the other video anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, I think I did pretty well this season. Uh, better than usual, which is pretty cool. Uh, rank, uh, of course, is my rank. We'll, we'll take a look at this. Uh, as I move up in the uh, when I actually do the AR offense video, uh, but this is what I was looking for is uh, I actually dropped down here, so which is pretty good. I mean, if you stay in these top two, you're you're all right. Um, you know, dropping down here is is usually not what you want uh, in terms of like for myself. Like I like being in these top two, kind of. It's a good example that your defense is is doing pretty well. Um, but yeah, so let's go take a look at uh, what the actual what actually happened in all of these and and kind of break down what we might uh, replay. What we might uh, do to how we might fix what's going wrong here. Um, so already looking at this, uh, we've got um, Leaf here, which uh, he is a problem, and he's going to be a problem forever. But I think regardless of of like patches, he's going to be something that's really hard to to deal with, no matter what. Ultimately, uh, so yeah something to consider is just that he's gonna be he's gonna be a huge pain no matter what you do um, but yeah so let's see, let's see where this goes but I think yeah that's probably just what cinches it at the end um, Altina uh, does he, he has this very interesting oh, but yeah so let's, let's take a look um, one thing that again it goes back to to like Duma I really like Duma because like, like I don't have to worry about this bolt tower now uh, if the bolt tower was here, like I said, it hits these three rows, and it hits him and her, and that's about it. Um, which can be pretty detrimental, because like I said, she's the anchor position, so if it hits her, then, you know, she's going to take a huge chunk of damage. Especially coming um, with the new update, where it does 40 damage. Um, she'll be at 15 and easy to kill, and then, you know, once you take her out, uh, a lot of the flyer ball kind of falls apart, because they don't have anyone to fly her a ball around to, so they just kind of move around sort of erratically. Um, like him too, he's, it's harder for him to do anything because he can only move like here and then hit here. But like because of um, ground orders, 
you can move all the way over here now and all the way over here in the, these areas so yeah so let's, let's, let's just take a look at what happens here uh, da, da, da. just clearing some rubble uh, my turn so he doesn't have a healing tower which I kind of find is interesting uh, healing towers are kind of 50 50 on offense like not like some some people will run them some people won't um, I kind of value it just because like this holding off one line isn't really useful to me uh, and these are they're pretty good I'm not gonna lie uh, I do want to run these but I also want kind of some space down here to, to move period uh, so I don't run them and I run this obviously a bolt tower and the healing tower so yeah so yeah again let's let's see where this goes okay so he hit her I think okay so I remember this one uh, this was at the beginning of the week and, and you'll see later I, I do change things uh, he was able to kill her uh, it might not have made a difference I'm not entirely sure I haven't calculated it but he was able to kill her uh, because I didn't have enough wards stacking here so what I'm doing what I did now what I did what I changed going forward was I put uh, wards on both of them uh, to just give her more bulk uh, and then her, she has the, she has her weapon, which gives plus three attack speed, and then her ward, which gives plus four defense res. I took the ward off of her and gave her um, a goad, uh, and now, so now she gives out plus seven attack and speed, which I think is a little bit better. So these two giving her plus eight, and then her giving out everybody plus seven, it's 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 decent. I mean, basically the reason you run Camilla is because she takes up two, she she give, basically gives out two wards or two goads. You know, two two uh, support uh, C slots for the price of one unit. So that's kind of why I put her. So uh, as you can see here, uh, Leaf just destroyed us there, uh, which is kind of to be expected. Leaf is just a very oppressive unit in general. Um, it's kind of one of the reasons why flyer balls fall off a lot. It's just that like there's Leafs, there's uh, Norns, um, you know, Jom uh What else? Just is Jacob? I think Jacob might be used, but yeah, like colorless bows are out there a lot. Um, especially just just leaf in general. Just like even if this wasn't a flyer ball, he, he's just a huge threat. Um, but yeah, so let, let's take a see. Let's take a look here and see where uh, where this goes. So he had that dance, and this is the reason, the main reason why. Like if that dance wasn't there, right, he would have stayed there and then died, and then uh, hopefully I would have been able to take apart the rest of this defense here. But let's see where this goes from here. So she just sacrifices twice. Uh, they move there. He hits her, doesn't do very much. Okay. And he gets danced. Again. Yeah, so. Basically, just a lesson for uh, the future. Uh, Leaf is very, very strong. Um, it's very hard to counter, very hard to deal with. Uh, he does insane damage, takes multiple turns. Uh, there's just really not a whole lot of weakness when it comes to uh, comes to him. So there you go. So we lost. Uh, let's go back. So we lost basically because uh, Leaf Dance is is a very strong combination. Um, also because, like I said, uh, Camilla had uh, didn't have enough backup to survive everything she was taking in that scenario. Uh, but yeah, so let's go take a look at some other ones. So that one again, that one was rectified like in the middle of the week. So. To, to some degree, we'll, we'll see later if we end up finding some more uh, leafs. I mean, I imagine we'll, we'll run into a bunch of them. So this one was a, was a success. Uh, lift loss control got me there, it, but you know it was a, success, a successful defense. So let's see what the strategy was here. And looking at it right off the bat, this loss because it didn't have. It doesn't seem like there's much of a strategy. Let, let's see how it plays out. But like looking at this, there doesn't seem to be anything here. It's just kind of like a bunch of units. So let's see what happened. Okay, they don't have a healing tower again. Uh, but they do have, yeah, they do have uh, racing. And uh, there you go. So there's the strength of Camilla. She she took down a... Uh, oh, actually, this is also because of this, I think. Yeah, okay. So this this one, again, this one doesn't really count. They didn't have, for one, they didn't have much of a strategy. Uh, and for two, the, the fortress advantage um, messed them up, I guess. I don't know why... It's kind of interesting. Hopefully they, uh, they rectify that later. Um, but yeah, so like there you go. Camilla beat a um, Altina uh, green on red. So 
kind of interesting. But as you can see here, uh, I had already changed it by this point, so Goat Flyers is here. Uh, ward and Ward. It wasn't wholly useful here because uh, Camilla went out of position to go do whatever she was whatever she was going to do, but that's fine. Uh, so these guys, so again, so that was kind of the idea behind that is she's tanky, so she can kind of put people behind her, and, and she did exactly what I wanted her to do. Uh, he just kind of came over here for no real reason whatsoever. I think maybe here would have been more beneficial, but whatever. Uh, then she sacrificed her. So basically all my frontliners, so this is basically one of, if not the better scenarios. Like all my frontliners are here, uh, maxed out, uh, max HP. Her guard is active again. He's just kind of here to, I guess, do whatever, threaten or something. I don't know. It's just, I don't know why they, why this AI decided to move all the way over here uh, for no reason. Um, actually, I might. Yeah, no, okay, never mind. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, then we've got uh, Mirabilis here doing, you know, dancing. Uh, what what is this? Oh, actually, yeah, I gave her the flyer guidance. I forgot about that. Uh, just because I took fly formation off of her because I kind of needed her to be around here killing people. And uh, if people can move around to her space, I mean, it might make it easier for her to dance and do weird stuff. Uh, but I'll, I'll see. I really do want fly formation on her, though. It's like, it, it, you're really hurting for it. But you only have one, and, and you know. Yeah, but I'll, I'll see. We'll see as we go whether uh, what's more beneficial to have fly formation on if I end up losing matches because uh, she didn't have the fly formation or, or whether she didn't or not. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, so this is uh, basically your ideal scenario for your flyer ball. It's more like a flyer line now, but yeah. So she comes over here, just one shots him, of course. Uh, she takes that. Okay, it's to be expected. Right, so let's see what happens now. Oh, very interesting. And then she just... So she takes her out, she takes her out. So this actually, well, this actually was kind of useful. But it wasn't like if she didn't have the flyer formation, she wouldn't have been able to stand there. But she already did, right? Because like she had this and she came, so she she basically got to this position using flyer formation and flyer guidance at like the same time. Um, but yeah, uh, so then they just gave up after that uh, because there's really not a whole lot you can do. You got a dancer and your only like attack is over here and stuck. Uh, so again, this one wasn't uh, wholly that useful. Just um, for one misplays and and for two not really having a strategy going in. Let's take a look here. I, I won this one, so let's take a look. Uh, so for one, this person seems a little newer because they don't have any Astras on this team, so they're not scoring very well. But this legendary Krom is a is a bit of a nuisance. Um, <clears throat> they're probably just going in here with Krom and, and kind of like expecting to win off of that, which isn't necessarily uh, a bad thing. Uh, most people... Krom is a very strong unit, but uh, we'll, we'll see if my defense can handle this to some degree. Uh, so let's push play here. Okay, so just clearing rubble. Um, so he's dropping speed off of something. I don't know why he's not dropping. Okay, he's dropping attack, but uh, he, he's balancing it out. <clears throat> um, okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see if my uh, anchor... Okay, so she didn't, he didn't do that. Okay, so in this situation, I really feel like maybe... Yeah, you kind of have to do that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Okay. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. All right, anyway. Uh, so yeah, just clearing stuff out, I guess. Um, the healing tower is kind of out of the way. These people here are still uh, affected by the um, by that dance. Okay, so they wanted to end turn here, but that's not a very good idea. Uh, I mean, this is one of the better places to end turn. You can end turn here, um, but you're going to get hit by this um, electric trap. Um, and you don't want, you want to end here because then she's just going to kill you. So this is probably one of the better places to try to end turn on, but let's see what happens. Yeah, I survived that and I almost killed her. Uh, there is no Ford advantage this time, I think. Oh, there wasn't. Alright, so that was just a straight up uh, Camilla doing very well there. Um, yeah. 
so then he comes in and, and flyer formation does what it does and, and he kills her, which I mean wasn't wholly needed just because like any one of these other ones could have just killed her because she was so low, but yeah. Okay. So that's pretty good, I think. Uh, she brought his HP back. Uh, he's still vulnerable to, to him. Um, she's kind of weak, so he might just try to hit her. Uh, but we'll see, we'll see where this goes. But the flyer ball is decently intact here. Um, it's about as intact as you'd, you'd uh, want it to be. Okay. Okay, so again, so this is where, again, this is why I kind of, like, you really can only control what happens going into turn one or uh, turn two. Uh, and I really control, you can only sort of, like, predict what's going to happen. After a while, like, turn three, turn four, like, things start, like, what's the word, uh, chaos theory starts kind of taking over. Like, despite how many rules and, and how many things you can prepare, chaos theory kind of starts taking over. And uh, things start kind of shimmying their way out of... Uh, which which you originally would have wanted, um, but again, you know, maybe the fact that she doesn't have flyer formation uh, is an issue here and, and whatnot. So we'll, we'll see we'll see where this goes from here. Okay, so he killed her. Actually, this was a success. So I wonder what happened. Uh, I feel like she might have happened. So let's take a look here. Oh. Okay. 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 So then they just left because uh, he is here for just a bonus ally, I guess. Let's see. Uh, but they didn't have any Astra, so it's kind of weird. Um, B Cena. Um, yeah, so this one turned out decent. Uh, not as good, I think, as one might want. But yeah, so let's go back. Okay, so where was I here? So I beat that one here. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, fortunately, I, I got a success here, so the lift loss control uh, got me here. It's pretty nice. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh, so Leaf again. Um, again, this time I have uh, her backed up by uh, these two. Hopefully, she can survive uh, if he tries to do that again. If this, per well, that's a different person, right? But if that uh, same thing tries to happen again, uh, five plus one, five plus one. Uh, this I don't have any visible bonuses except for uh, her uh, her thing here this uh, let's see writer's main doesn't do nothing this doesn't do very much uh, so let's see where this goes okay so that was a pretty smart move right because if you put him here and you gamble that you you may or may not kill her um, she has the guard which means that you can't charge your zeal which means See. Well, I mean, he'd still be safe anyway, which means that he'd be stuck here. So my turn, I can just kind of, you know, pile in on him. Uh, but, you know, hitting him means that you basically get the guaranteed kill because, well, Doom is not particularly tanky. Uh, and, yeah, he's not particularly tanky. And you get the charge off, so now he can just leave, right? Uh, although, alternatively, even if he had hit her and didn't get the little, what is this, the, the Njorn Zeal off because she has the, the thing. She's here, so she, he could basically just bring her over here, dance her, move her up forward, and then flip him down here. Uh, and then she's in the best possible bait position. Though, you again, like I said, like we saw last time, even having a unit here, you don't really want to bait, especially because like Camilla can just stand here and hit you and, and possibly do some decent damage. Um, but yeah, so now he's just gonna leave. Oh, actually he didn't leave. Very interesting. So he wasn't able to kill her, which is good because last time he did. Um, yeah, fifty-seven. That's a lot of attack. What's all this attack coming from? Was it always like that? Yeah, I think it was. It's fifty-eight plus. If you get the Fury Four, it's fifty-eight. Um, but yeah, so let's, let's take a look and see what's happening here. So that's basically what I had said. Uh, but this way he gets two kills instead of just like maybe the one. Uh, so they healed. I got to kill, see again. So Altina being here is probably the best bait position she can be in. However, it's still not very good because Camilla usually tends to be strong enough to take that down. Um, and what happens from here is basically just uh, he... Like... You get five characters on offense, but him having Njorn Zeal basically makes him into uh, six characters. 
because he can take multiple turns and basically all you have to do is support him make sure he doesn't die um, but yeah uh, and he gets that and he gets that so yeah Uh, yeah, so basically we got taken apart by uh, by Leaf, but I think what people what's important to understand is that Leaf is going to um, be, beat most teams regardless. Uh, I mean, I'm sure you can. I mean, maybe like a Cav line would make it hard for Leaf to get in there. You just kind of stack all your like buildings down here and give them a hard time to move without getting hit by your Cavs and all that stuff. Um, and I won't deny that like a Cav line is probably a good solution to that, but like. For one, a cab line is insanely, it's, it's creatively boring, and yeah, just, for one, it's it's like, gameplay-wise, it's boring, and creatively, it's sort of bankrupt, I think. Um, it's the kind of, like, it's the kind of thing, yeah, I mean, if, if like, a CEO of, of EA were to play this game, that's, that's kind of what he'd go for, I think. But, uh, yeah, so, I think outside of that, uh, most teams, if you're trying to be interesting, are, are just going to have a hard time uh, fighting against Leaf. But as we've seen so far, the biggest threat is Leaf. So what what goes on to my shoulders now is kind of figuring out uh, how I'm going to deal with Leaf uh, going forward. So let's end replay. So let's go uh, go a little forward, a little further here. We seen you know, we, we, we we lost against Corey, but we got saved. Uh, failure. So we lost here, and this is another day. So we lost here, and then this is another day. So we lost here, and these two on the same day. So we got caught by the thing. Okay. So anyway, let's go back here. We lost here. So we lost here. Let's take a let's take a look here. Replay. Um. Yeah, and I think just general like Gale Force is. Oh, here's here we go. Um. So this is an entire bike team. Uh, and I so that's the two. Those are the two things I lose to. Uh, bike and uh, leaf. Um, yeah, there's just not a whole lot you can do against, uh, this, uh, even, like, if you go, like, even a Byleth, like, the new Fire Mage Byleth, which is probably one of the better Fire Mages we have, uh, barely gets to kill, if that. Most of the time, she's not gonna kill a, a, a bike. Especially, like, a plus 10, fully just decked out. I really think that, so for those of you who, who run bike, I don't have a bike, right? So if you have bike, uh, obviously you, you probably have more, um, what's the word? More experience and, and are probably better qualified to be giving advice on bike. But I think from from my perspective, from what I see bike and, and how I would build him if I were to plus 10 him, um, I think guard would be pretty good here. And then like quick repost here. And then here you can put whatever you want. I mean, pulse smoke is probably a pretty good option. But I really think that's the way, that's a good way to build bike. Because the only way bike is going to die is um, by, like, special charges. Like, again, he could survive, cons like, he could survive um, Byleth as, uh, attacking the first time and then special, having the special charge for turn two. He can survive all of that without even breaking a sweat. He'd probably not even drop halfway, below half health. Um, so, and then that's not even considering, right, he's got Lucina here. So Byleth, so Byleth basically, she doesn't do anything to him, but that's that's a, a testament to like how strong he is, is that even with people triggering their specials on him, he's still basically immortal. Um, but if you want to patch up the possibility of him dying to a special trigger, then, you know, Guard is a very good way to go go for that. Um, and then Quick Repulse makes it so he can double back, uh, which basically guarantees kills all the time. Um... So yeah, I don't know. I feel like that's that's the way I would run him. Um, guard is a little bit boring, maybe, but uh, it's definitely like very powerful skill. But yeah, anyway, let's just get in here and see what happens. Um, he doesn't really need guard and, and quick repulse and everything I just said. I think he's probably just gonna destroy us anyway. Um, so he took seven damage from that. Okay, so like always, most people just try to like break these things first. Okay. So let's see how this goes. Okay. Okay, so this this basically happened the way uh, I would have wanted it to happen, right? Um, yeah, basically perfectly. Um, most of the time, Camilla is not going to have a guaranteed kill on people, so if they bait here, or like they hit her from here, she really shouldn't 
move. She should just kind of sit there. Uh, and then she'll come here and then she'll come here and try to hit because she's probably the least capable of killing anything. Um, so, yeah. Uh, she, he, she's probably going to come here now and then just die to him because Cole's at disadvantage and then she's probably going to try to hit him and die as well. And I don't know what she's going to do. But yeah, basically, you know, you lose to bike. I mean, that's just how it goes. So, um, yeah, there's not, I mean, there's not a whole lot anybody could have done about this, I think. Um, there's just no way for a flyer ball to really deal with bike. They just, they all just run into him and die. And replay. So yeah, that was fine. Um, it's up to me to sort of come up with a counter. Uh, there's two possible counters. We'll talk to, we'll talk about them sort of at the end, uh, when I'm talking about like, um, how I might deal with, uh, uh, so for bike, like I said, bike and leaf are two very difficult threats to deal with. And, um, yeah, I'll probably talk about them right after, like, we're done and, and, and we'll see what other threats may, may come up, may emerge as I go through here. Other things to keep in mind as long as I'm already talking about that. Uh, so let's take a look at this one. Okay. So this looks like a, uh, Altina. Interesting. I'm not sure why you wouldn't just like merge your Altinas together because I think this is like an Altina, uh, Altina Vantage sweep team is what they're going for here. Um, I don't know why Lucina's over here. Okay, so they know this one's the trap now. Let's take a look and see what they do. Okay. So I'm gonna get healed. And she got the counter off. Okay. Oof. Oh, so that's the one kill I got. Um... But yeah, basically that was kind of the way you want to approach this team. Uh, that trap is there to like hopefully deter people from baiting, uh, baiting her there. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, she just gets she just she just gets destroyed. So, but so this is kind of a, a structural weakness more than like a unit weakness. It's just that um, Camilla out here by herself is just gonna die. Again, it goes back to what I mentioned in my um, the Aether Age defense discussion video. Uh, if you're running Gergarant, um, Ashnard, uh, he wouldn't have, he probably wouldn't have died there. Uh, and for one, I mean, for one, he's red, right? And for two, he's, he's probably, you know, he's obviously going to be a lot tankier on his own, you know, without having to worry about everyone else. And then, you know, you add everyone else on top of that and he's almost immortal. Um, but yeah, so like I said, so that, that's for one structural weakness in terms of like the fact that I have so many, I have too many greens on my team. Um... And two, just the map layout lends itself to like just sitting at that position he was at. Even if you do take the uh, the uh, trap damage, um, you're still relatively safe. Uh, so maybe moving these traps around, but then, yeah. So I don't know. We'll we'll, talk, we'll think about that in a while. But uh, yeah, that's a another sort of weakness is is this spot here is very like hard to deal with because uh, Camilla just gets out of way out of position. Uh, they didn't take all my uh, Aether Pots, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Zadrick here, uh, replay. Okay. So this is another, again, this is another bike. Uh, just, yeah, just another bike. Uh, I think we're about to see the same thing happening uh, here as last time. Um, take the 7 damage. Doesn't have a healer this time. Okay, so this is basically how you want to, if you're running bike, this is basically how you want to set it up, is make sure Lentine is over there somewhere. Uh, basically, he's, un, he's immortal from here on out, because there's nothing I can do really about this. Uh, then he's going to come and try to hit him, do basically no damage, and then die. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, so I mean, this is basically just how it is. Bike is uh, as oppressive as, as ever. So, I mean, that's just something to consider. But yeah, we'll, we'll like I said, we'll talk about possible counters and, and how to how to deal with that in a little while. Let's just take a look at these last two. So this one, I think, was it a victory or defeat? I don't remember. Um, this is a very interesting team. It's just like all the, the new units. Well, not all of them, but it's a few of the new units. Uh, this is this is something new to consider too. Is is the um, Bride Micaiah with her thing? Wow, she's a vintage unit. Very interesting. Um, is that vintage or desperation? Oh, I think it's desperation. No, it's vintage. Actually, that's a pretty good idea. I might consider running her on a on a desperation build. Um, just because like the push drops her HP, which is pretty good. Um, but I forgot what she has here normally. Is it a unique skill? I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, I have no idea. I forgot already. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at here. Okay, does she have Disarm Trap? Okay, so she had Disarm Trap. Okay. Okay, so there we go. This is the same thing uh, I mentioned last time. Is this, this position here, you just bait her out. Um, whether or not... Yeah, I think... I mean, if you really think about it, I really do feel like um, you could just kind of solve that by running uh, solve that by running uh, Ashnard there and she dies yeah she's gonna die yep okay, so that's fine uh, at least you took out two saved us some lift there and oh well I mean we got caught by the uh, whatever the uh, lift loss control there no Wait a minute. So what the fuck? They lost. They only lost two units. Did he just leave? Because it still says failure. When they leave, you get a success. The lost control success. Yeah, I'm a little confused there. Who knows? Uh, let's take a look at this last replay. Yeah, because that, I feel like I should have, I lost more there than I should have, but I can say it's not really weird. Okay. Uh, again, so, so, so far, uh, the bottom line we've taken from this, right, is just that, um, Leaf is very strong and Bike is very strong. Those are the two main things I've lost to, um, outside of, so, well, there's three main things, right? Leaf, Bike are the two main. Uh, and the other one is just like poor positioning on my part. So like, like I said, that, that twice I've lost now to someone just sitting here and then baiting Camilla out. Um, so there has to be there has to be some way to fix that. I think. I think it's interesting though because like, she I gave her flyer formation specifically to to stop her maybe from getting baited out because she should like stand here and then hit somebody here. Um, but again, this is the problem with my team. This person has the same weakness this person has. They're both green. This should not be a green here. This should be like, you know, anything other than a green. So that some I, I I've been really itching to sort of summon for that summer Byleth because uh, I really do think she complements this team very well as a red mage, um, just covering options. Uh, but yeah, so like I, like I said, I, I really do need a red threat on here, and that's kind of like so. I guess that's the three things: is is ha not having a red threat. Um, bike and maybe having a red threat and and the not having a red threat and the bike can be solved by a, a similar means but like i said even like a crazy overpowered invested uh byleth is barely gonna scratch a bike i have the calculation if anybody like what's that like arctic silver fox or something i don't know so there's a there's a you can go on on google and look up a uh uh, Fey Mass Duel Simulator, and I've been messing around with that, and uh, even like a super invested, well not super invested, like a plus one Byleth and attack boon, uh, and like a bunch of skills and a bunch of wards and all this other stuff stacking around her, like she still does basically no damage. It's kind of irritating, but um, yeah, I don't know. Especially like when you're running uh, Bike and, uh, and Lucina together, it's just, it's not good. Uh, so basically I lost these two buildings turn one which is fine um, do they have any visible buffs they don't have any visible buffs so I'm not entirely sure why they went for those 
Uh, this one restricts movement, which is fine, I think. Oh, hold on now. What was that? Oh, did he? I think, yeah, I think this bolt tower hit her and... Okay, there you go. So, she didn't have enough to uh, activate the guard, which, you know, it kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, and then, of course, you've just... All you gotta do is run uh, him and three dancers and you're basically good to go. It's not three, right? It's like only two, but still, it's like... There's never anything. There's never anything interesting about losing to a leaf. Um, you're basically losing to uh, money, is what it comes down to. <laughs> um, so yeah, like, like even these like. So this isn't very that invested, right? It's like a plus one. Um, so it didn't cost a lot of money. I mean, I could have just pulled one of these and played with them. But like, really, it just comes down to like, <laughs> how boring do you want to play? Um, I don't know. I, I just find them excessively boring. It's just like. Why don't we just have him take all the turns and just have him kill everything by himself? Um, but yeah, there's, I mean, there's a few. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's there's counterplay to everything. It's not like, I, 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 what have I said? I don't know. Hopefully, I haven't I haven't said anything like in that sense. But like, I don't think. Uh, I don't think Leaf is broken. Hold on, I'm gonna go check that. Okay, we're back. Um, but yeah, so. I forgot what my train of thought was there. <laughs> um, but basically, yeah, it comes down to, um, like... Oh, yeah, I was talking about uh, Leaf. Uh, Leaf isn't, like, broken. It's not like he's uncounterable. There's there's counters to him. And um, we'll talk about them. I guess now we'll talk about uh, how we're going to deal with... Let's go back here. How we're going to deal with Leaf and uh, all the stuff that went down here and replay. Uh, let's go back. Defense. No, it's not it. Uh, just uh, edit Aether Keep. Um... Yeah, so, like I said, we lost to Bike, uh, Leaf, and poorly positioned, um, just poor positioning on, on our part, uh, and how they react to the poor positioning. Um, uh, but yeah, so, for for Bike, Bike is, gener uh, well, not generally, but like, he's he's a little easier to counter. If any of you saw my uh, Aetherade's defense video, um... You'd know the talking, just talking about the build and all that stuff. You'd know that uh, I, I referenced uh, Acarus's like uh, AR defense map as a point of reference. Um, and I, he, if you saw on there, I think he had Pala. It might have been Sheeta. Actually, yeah, it might have been Sheeta. I can't remember now anymore. Um, but it was Pala or Sheeta, which are both uh, flyer red swords. Um, in terms of countering. Bike, regular Pala, she has Weapon Triangle Advantage on her sword. Um, she alone, like, she can just, like, destroy a bike. Uh, especially because you refine her weapon and it gives her uh, the ability to double um, per attack. And he, she can be fast enough that she can quad bike. Which basically... You know, but yeah, I mean, there's not much more to say than that. Um, you just put her a plus 10, plus and her with a glimmer, um, attack defense bond. I actually have an attack defense form, which is better because, um, since it's a flyer ball, hopefully they all stick together decently well. And you don't have to be, you only have to be within two spaces of people to get the bonuses, and that gives you uh, seven attack and defense. Uh, and then run like an attack defense bond in her, uh, in her. What's it called in her sacred seal slot? Uh, and there you go. She's a she's a force to be reckoned with. Uh, at a plus ten merge, she's got thirty three. Uh, she got fifty eight attack, thirty six speed, something like that around there. Um, thirty three defense and thirty six res. I have this all memorized because I was messing around with it uh, a while back. Um, but yeah, so she just putting her on your team is probably a big enough red threat to kill any like very strong green. Um, threats or foes. Uh, the problem being that she has, for one, she's, she's, she has, she, for one, she doesn't have any range. Um, and for two, the only person I can replace really is going to be the Micaiah, because I really do need the Duma there for the lift loss control as well as the attack buff. Uh, the Mirabilis is for the dance. And, you know, you've got, I obviously I have uh, Pala there as my, uh, young Pala there as my blue threat for destroying reds. Um, and these three, these three green, or these two, uh, both Minerva and 
Camilla are probably going to stay here in terms of like fighting off blues. Um, did we, we still kind of lost to a blue there. Um, but that's all right. Um, we didn't really lose to, to that legendary crumb, but they weren't really like organized well enough. I mean, a more organized team might have done something, but I, I think for for the most cases in, in at the higher tiers, tier 27 here, uh, people aren't going to bring their Krom team into this or their Lucinas or, or whatever kind of blue um, builds they're going to bring in um, just because of how much green is on this team. Um, but I think taking Mikaya off and putting something else there, uh, like a red threat, is going to be just obviously... I mean, I kind of mentioned this too in my... Um, when I was talking about the team build and all that stuff. Um, but yeah, so... Like I said, having that red threat there will probably work a, a pretty good ways towards uh, solving the Ike problem. As well as maybe solving uh, the positioning problem here. Uh, so like if I put... Again, that's why the Summer Byleth is, is so tempting. Um, it's just getting that plus one merge and she's going to be really strong. You put her... Right here, she comes with ground orders too. I mean, as well, she comes with ground orders as well. And uh, I forgot what her B slot. Oh, the B slot is, is useless. It's like an attack. It's like a double stat chill, uh, which isn't very useful. Um, but you can replace that with a wind sweep, and basically she she can just hit uh, bike for free, and he can't counter her. Uh, so you can hit her for free. Hopefully, my dancer dances him and then kills him. Uh, so bike is. <sighs> It's hard to say he's kind of solved by that because, like I said, I, I've been I was messing around on the damage calculators and all that stuff, and and she barely tickles bike a lot of the time, um, like max invested, especially with Lucina there. Um, even even with bike's inability to counterattack her, it's still uh, highly like just sketched to to want to even bring her into that. Uh, like I said, Pala is basically secured. Um, she just can't really die to Ike. What might be more interesting is maybe like putting, no, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I think in terms of bike, I have the solution. It's just a matter of sitting down and thinking about what I want to like, what I want to go with. Uh, and then there's one I haven't mentioned purposefully because she's a good counter for not only bike, but also um, leaf, uh, funnily enough. And that's going to be, um, what's her name? Uh, Young Sheeta. Uh, the the other one of this uh, from the start of it all banner. Uh, Young Sheeta is very powerful. It's actually very interesting because I I have rarely seen her on defense anywhere. Um, so you know obviously she wasn't as powerful as a lot of people were like complaining about to begin with, which I think we should we all sort of knew that was coming. Uh, but she is very powerful on a flyer ball. She's very powerful for dealing with certain threats. Um. Running a few calculations, it's kind of hard um, to really kind of come up with whether or not I should, I should, like, you can either get a plus one, I think, well, here, 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 here's what it's, like, looking like. Um, it's looking like, to me, I should probably just save all my orbs until that, that banner gets rerun, or just hold out and see what the new units are coming out, right? Because, I mean, nothing out there now is worth building to help counter other than that summer byleth and i really don't think that summer byleth is the way to go there because for one uh actually she could be yeah she could be pretty decent um in terms of countering leaf too right because i have to consider leaf uh this again like i said this position here and summer and uh and um bike and you know having a plus one byleth there you know for one with the wind sweep she can't be countered by uh What's his name? Leaf. But the problem with Leaf is that, like, he's so oppressive that, like, it doesn't really matter, right? So you saw here, he either hits her and then just doesn't really matter. Or he hits him and then proceeds to do whatever the hell, you know, he wants to do. Um, but maybe I should put this here. How does that look, I guess? That looks pretty interesting. Because if they're going to pop them, if they're here, they're going to pop them anyway, right? So I might as well put them here, maybe. Put them here. Put him here. Put him here. Does anybody hit over there? So that kind of makes it kind of interesting because nobody can hit here except for, I guess, her. Um, and then she can just be easily baited out. Uh, hmm, very interesting. Um, so yeah, so this, you know, this 
I think I'm gonna try this out for next week. See how this goes. Um, see if uh, it even does anything to slow anybody down. I think. I mean, Leaf is just gonna hit this, uh, get danced, and then run over here and like hit her, and then activate the whatever, and then stand here and hit him. Um, and they might just pop all these things. But yeah, I mean, you know, I'll probably try this out. See how this goes. Uh, maybe like that. And not have to worry about uh, over there. Actually, I might see how this goes. Um, people keep popping those things there anyway, so let's just put them there and see what happens. Well, the problem is, the reason I didn't want to put this here is because, like... So, if they come and they start sniping these out of the way, they can just kind of stand here and get pot shots off on my team without any response, right? Like, I, I can't get around this. I mean, they can kind of move here, but by the time they move around here, it's like, it's too late. They're just going to die. Because, like, the whole team is probably just going to sit around right here. Um, but I think I might try this, see where this gets me. Um, just hopefully it doesn't bite me in the ass, but we'll, we'll, you know, like I said, building your defense team is sort of a trial and error kind of thing. Uh, but fortunately, I think what's what's nice about what happened this week is it, it all kind of boiled down to, to three things. Like I said, uh, Leaf, uh, Bike, and uh, this position. So maybe that Summer Byleth can help uh, alleviate that, right? So she can sit here. If Summer Byleth is here, she can sit here hit this person so she's basically covering red and green right so they're probably gonna die red or green uh, unless you know it's uh I can swap this out here or put this somewhere else right because this doesn't need to be here if I can let them bait there if I can let them sit there that's fine Maybe put this here or something like that um, because then she's gonna come here sit here and then hit them so if this is a um, Altina hopefully I get the first turn to hit them and then maybe she moves to in between them two here and then hits there or she moves here or something that gets danced um but yeah so that's you know summer violet is is a very interesting choice here but i really do think like like i said summer violet has a a a 50 50 almost on killing bikes where sheeta is a lot more secured i feel uh for killing bikes and as well as like a bunch of other threats um and you know like like i said uh bows she can kill bows uh which is another interesting thing about her is that like she gets advantage on bows which is amazing and there's not really i mean i'm sure someone out there is running colored bows i mean obviously the uh, you know legendary crom is one and legendary lucina i don't know she, she's kind of fallen off but i still see her from time to time um so colored bows can kind of counter her but like i said no one's running red bows maybe a green but no one i haven't really seen her anywhere uh no one's running green bows yeah no one's running green bows um and and if anyone's running blue bows then again you've got these two to sort of cover you right uh so i think shido would be pretty good because like even like if basically what's his name uh leaf can't really kill shida because he attacks her and she's just going to vantage him now if they're running hardy bearing on leaf then you know, that's a different story but uh you don't see a whole lot of hardy bearings on leaf especially in that one that, uh, and the the ones we saw here, nobody was running uh, Hardy Bearing on her. Um, so yeah, I think I'm really thinking that uh, maybe Sheeta is going to be the way to go. Uh, so I'm probably going to save my orbs uh, for maybe a year. Maybe something will come out in between now and then that'll solve my problem. Um, but who knows, right? It's a, it's always a gamble in that sense. Um, but yeah, so probably what I want to get hopefully is a uh, plus six, at least a plus six Sheeta. Uh, for plus 10, you probably need like 2,000 orbs or something like that, and uh, that's probably not something I want to invest in. Um, at least not that many orbs, anyway. Uh, but maybe like a 1,200 orbs or something like that, maybe like a 1,000 orbs. Try to get a uh, plus 6. Because plus 6 is the last point she gets a, uh, a boost to her attack, which is probably the most important stat on her, because you just want her to one-shot everything back. Uh, so plus 6 is probably where you want to go. Uh, I think she gets one at plus 1, plus 4, and plus 6. So plus four wouldn't be too complain wouldn't complain too much, but uh, plus six is probably where I want to end up at. Um, but yeah, so I'll probably save my orbs for that. Uh, what else was there? Um, yeah, like I said, that was the other thing uh, concerning Summer Byleth. Summer Byleth is pretty strong, but I don't have a wind sweep, which is what makes what I feel what I feel puts her over the top. Really, uh, having that creator sort effect where she can't where her follow-ups can't be denied uh, is really good. So basically she just doubles everybody for free 
because you, you're probably not going to outspeed a, a Byleth. Um, but yeah, so Byleth is a pretty good solution for this situation, especially, like I said, fighting against not only Bike, but also... Um, fighting against Bike, but, not, but also... Um, what's her name? Leaf. Uh, it's pretty good, because the Windsweep kind of makes you safe from both of them. Um, what else? Altina. You can hit Altina pretty safely as well. She can't counter you. Uh, what else? Yeah, I mean, there's just like... She's just very oppressive, um, is what the point is of that. Uh, so having her here instead of this Micaiah might be the way to go. Uh, but the, the thing is, I don't have enough orbs. I only have like 100 orbs right now. I don't have enough orbs to get a plus one Byleth, which is really what you want. Especially, like, I could get the plus one Byleth and then neither of them be an attack buff, an attack boon. And then again, you're losing. That's like, that's a huge blow to how many orbs you just wasted on nothing. Um, so, yeah. Um, again, for those of you out there uh, who may be, like, taking lessons from, from this and, and hopefully maybe learning from my mistakes. Um, like I said, who you want here is probably just going to be Ashnard. Um, Ashnard could have tanked everything she took, no problem. Even if, like, you're not running the, uh, like I said, that, that first game, I, I took off all the goads and put everybody on wards except for her. Um, I think that even, like, without those wards, like, Ashnard is just that much of a tank that he could just take all that stuff and not have to worry about it. Um, I, I forgot to mention, too, in my video, um... She, uh, I put the uh, Fortress Res, so I had a few options, right? The Fortress Res, the, I don't know, remember if I put the Fury, I don't think I put the Fury. But the, the Fortress Res was there, and I changed some other stuff, like with the Seal and the and the, and the B slot. But I forgot to mention, uh, Distant Counter works just as well on him, too. Uh, yeah, like stacking, like you're stacking all kinds of wards and goads, so you don't have to worry so much about the plus six to defense and res, because even without the plus six, you're basically competing with Camilla, Camilla, with Camilla, uh, who's actually got the Fury, right? So even him, without anything in the A slot, his stats are already competing with her, except for speed, right? But again, the quicker post in the B slot or the S slot uh, is going to do you wonders there. Um, but yeah, like having just putting Distant Counter there is really going to hurt a lot of people. So like, he could probably follow up kill, uh, what's his name? He might be able to follow up kill the, uh, the, what's his, uh, the guy? The, the leaf, right? So, I mean, that could be solved uh, to some degree there. Just because how tanky he is, he might just be able to survive and hit him hard enough. Uh, not to mention, he's also got like 60 attack, which is, again, kind of beats Camilla's attack there. Uh, but, yeah, and then, you know, if 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 Bike initiates on Ashnard, then Ashnard probably has a good chance of killing him. Because, uh, for one, his, his uh, ability isn't, isn't, his damage reduction isn't in play there. Uh, but no one who's running uh, a bike at this level is really going to be attacking into anybody because that's just... I mean, nobody, that's not a secured kill. Uh, and Ashnard is going to make that really hard. So, yeah. Uh, basically, yeah, so those are the lessons we're taking from here is, for one, we need a very strong red threat that can deal with... Um, that can deal with Leaf. Uh, two... That could either be... one For one, Pala is a pretty good budget option for for that but unfortunately she's really only designed to kill bike um like she basically like there's no one there's no better bike killer than she is uh problematically though um it's a huge investment for this account like i don't have i barely have like thirty thousand feathers and i spent a lot of feathers on her and she's not even done yet so i still have to put feathers into her um, but yeah so that's a huge investment on this account uh for two byleth is a good option uh but again she's premium so you have to go pull for her and hopefully you get lucky. And again, I don't have the orbs right now to like feel comfortable pulling for Byleth. Because um, I'm probably just going to burn all these orbs and not get anything. So I think it's much better to save for one, maybe next year when Byleth comes back. Or two, wait until the start of it all banner comes back. And just go full force for that um, that young Sheeta. Because she's going to be very powerful uh, in terms of a flyer defense team here. Um, but I really do, it, again, it's a 50-50. It's like, Young Sheeta is very strong, but she lacks range. And you can't exactly put her on the front line. Um, like I said, and not to mention, this combo that I mentioned here, where, like, if Byleth was here, 
if they like this solves this right so someone tries to bait here you put Byleth here she basically kills them and if she can't kill them right because Byleth is red she's probably gonna be weak to blues um, she can just come in here and hit him anyway right so if, if if they try to bait here with Altina or something Byleth comes in hits her if that doesn't fix if that doesn't kill her then he can fly here to this position and then just hit her um, or she can somehow get over there and hit her hopefully anyway um, but like I said so the summer Byleth here that combo really solves this to some degree as well as having the wind sweep uh, helps against leaf and helps against uh, bike out of those three threats leaf is going to be your strongest one um, because he's just really unpredictable what they're going to do right so like I mentioned here um, he, he brought leaf he hit that got the special off came over here hit her got danced and moved out of the way and then we're safe anyway uh, would does Byleth come into play there at all absolutely not she didn't you know she wouldn't have done anything um, so yeah like leaf leaf's ability to do everything on the player turn and then be out of harm's way um, is really the, his strongest point which makes him hard to counter you like like I said you can't really counter someone who doesn't let you take a turn I mean of course your turn eventually comes but he's already done all the damage like he killed him kill her and then these two these four are just sitting here out of range and they're gonna move they're gonna start moving regardless of whether they can do nothing do anything or not um, and then they're just gonna die because they're gonna get picked off right so it's important to realize that like out of the two out of the three threats bike and uh, the positioning problem here leaf is gonna be the one that's hard to deal with just because of like everything he can do on his own turn um so like i said ashnard is a good um ashnard is a good option here um in this position uh because if leaf tries to hit him for one you have the guard and for two uh he, you're probably gonna have the quicker post and three i mean i think it's a pretty good idea to run the uh, distant counter on him just for that alone um and you've got enough wards and all that stuff so like you can either make him unkillable or you know decently hard to kill with some counter potential and i think probably the disencounter uh, i should have mentioned it in that video but uh yeah i really do think maybe the disencounter is probably gonna be your best bet in that situation uh for my situation here uh probably i might just what i lost in here was not so much kill potential was a lot of like getting hit potential like i, I took a lot of damage here uh, so what I think I might do let's put this here and then this here this looks really stupid um, hopefully while hitting these things this thing does something and kind of keeps them from moving but it, I, I doubt it um, but anyway so I'm gonna try this out see how this works um, what I think I should do is maybe drop some kill potential on Camilla because a lot of this was like me losing solely on um, like to leaf anyway was solely on just not having enough tank ability um, and I really think that uh, I might put this here since a lot of people but yeah why was this here I forgot why this was here if I put this here oh that's why because uh, I don't want oh, actually yeah yeah okay yeah I don't know why that was here uh, there, was, there was a reason, but I forgot what it was. Uh, you want it, you don't want it here, because then she can be baited, right? You can just sit here, and then she'll attack, and they'll, like, they'll die. So that's kind of worthless. But I don't know why... Yeah, I don't know why this was down there originally. Uh, but yeah, so I, I think this looks pretty, pretty, pretty solid here, I think. I kind of like this. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I was saying bike is a little easier to handle because people just sort of end phase on bike So you, it's up to you to decide what your team is going to do When that end phase comes and what's your turn when it's your turn um, But uh, but the 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 leaf is going to be the hardest thing to counter um, uh, What's the other thing so leaf the positioning there was kind of hopefully so hopefully Byleth fixes that if I you know if I end up going with Byleth at one point like I said, I think it's still like not a week, but it's she's got like got like five days. Um, we're getting a lot of orbs too, so uh, I think if I I have a hundred and some, hundred and ten, hundred and twenty, I think 
I think maybe if I hit 200 by the end of the week, I might burn them on, on that banner. Um, but uh, for one, it's, again, there's, there's a lot of stuff with that, right? Because Choose Your Lesson 4 is around the corner, and that's probably something you want to um, use your orbs on instead. Uh, and I'm, there might be a very good, uh, might be a very good, uh, you know, flyer unit in there that you could use to help patch something up that might be better than uh, Summer Byleth. Um, but yeah, so it, it's, there's stuff like that to consider. Uh, without even, and then on top of that, if any of you, for, for those of you who should be watching uh, Acarus's channel, uh, he mentions that Choose Your Legends Four might itself might even be a bait. So uh, yeah, interesting times in general. I think. Um, Looking forward to see what comes out next, and I'm glad I'm in a position where I can just save all my orbs. I don't have to, like, pull on anything else anymore. <clears throat> but yeah, so that's it for today. Um, I guess in summary, watch out for uh, bikes. Do If you can solve bike, try to solve bike, because out of the two problems between bike and leaf, bike's going to be the easiest problem to deal with, because uh, he is sort of, like, you are able to deal with him. Um, it just takes, like very immense red threats uh, but to um, do what you can to to counter leaf but be aware that it's a lot of it's going to be wasted effort because again leaf acts sort of on his on his own turn takes three kills and then you know that's half your team gone um, <clears throat> so consider those things um, think about where um, you might end up Think about how, how to deal with them. Like I said, she is a pretty good option. Um, Byleth, hopefully you get enough mobility on her uh, to make her a good option. Um, Pala, if you're like super sort of... If you don't want to invest orbs into that red threat, or you don't have the orbs to invest into that red threat like I kind of am right now, um, for a more immediate solution, uh, you know, regular Pala might be a good, uh, good point there. Also, I want to point out... Um, I really do think that uh, you should run, because you can run Pala with the Triangle Adept and then get more damage on greens, which is fine, I think, but uh, after running some calculations, I think double stacking the uh, Triangle Advantage things, because she's got one on her weapon and then one from the A slot if you give it to her, they don't seem to do as much damage as just running like a, a Bond in the A slot for the attack, or like like I said, the attack. I have an attack defense form, which I haven't um, put on, any, on anything yet, um, but yeah. Uh, lastly, I guess the one thing I could do to maybe help solve this, right, is leave this the way it was. I think I'm, I'm not. I think I'm just going to do what I just did there. Leave this the way it was and uh, put, like, an attack defense bond here and uh, an attack defense bond here or a, uh, what's, the, what's the other one? Like I said, the, the attack defense form. Because uh, if he tries to come here again and then hit him, um, he he's hitting him for... Like, he's getting, what, 7 plus the, the 5 is 12 more defense. So you're getting boosted up to uh, defense plus 12 is uh, 47 defense. Uh, it's still probably not going to be enough to survive against uh, uh, survive against him because, for one, he's going to hit you. He's still going to charge his thing and then hit you again and you're going to die. Uh, or he's just going to hit him, move out of the way, hit her, and then just kind of leave or something. Um... But yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's something to consider. I think I might. Uh, but this would require to unlock the team. And then uh, put that on him. Uh, which is, you know, I better do it now. If I'm going to do it, I better do it now. But I don't know if I want to waste an attack defense form on him. Uh, I'll have to run some more calculations, I think, on, on the, the damage calculator thing. Uh, some of the, A lot of the calculations I ran were, were like a plus 10 leaf. But from what we lost there, uh, they were all just plus 1 leafs. So I might have to go in there and recalculate that. He might be able to survive uh, what he's dishing out. Still, I kind of tend to doubt it, though. Um, but yeah, those are going to be a lot better options because not only do they give him... You get the same attack, right? Because you get plus 7 attack and then plus 5, so that's 12, which is you get plus 6 and plus 6. But in that case, uh, you get those stats as long as you're adjacent, which is going to be most of the time, right? Uh, so both on both phases, uh, as well as you get the defense. You get a whole 12 defense uh, additionally on top of that. So... Um, yeah, I think maybe I might have to go with that. I'll probably put him put him on the attack defense bond for now, uh, and think about whether I'll put him on two, on double bonds. I guess uh, I'll, I'll put that and then see um, see how I feel about that because I think I have just defense attack defense bonds to spare. Um, 
just the attack defense form, I only have one. It's something you really want to consider. Because if I do end up running Pala, right, you want to... She's going to want that a lot more than he is. Um, <clears throat> just because she's probably going to spend a little more time on the front line. And for two, I'm not even entirely sure if I'm going to keep Duma around forever. Because uh, I might just run, like, this team here, and then put uh, Young Sheeta here, and then just have just, you know bite the billet and deal with uh, only one mythic on my team because it's a 50 50 right it's like either you're having the two mythics and you're reducing lift loss but you're losing more or you're sort of sacrificing a mythic and securing more wins and usually you want to secure more wins than you want to play to win more than uh playing to lose even though i do like to make the point out here that there is no team that's unbeatable Nothing you do, no matter how much money you throw into this game, you will never make an unbeatable team. There will always be a team that will beat your team. Um, so I think the idea that playing to to win is a little more fallacious, just because there's no way you're going to win every time. So if you're gonna if you're not going to win every time, I think it's better to mitigate losses. Now, again, you don't want to like encourage more losses because you're you're playing to to mitigate those losses, but uh, you want to be aware, like you know. You want to keep your sort of your hubris in check right you want to keep your your yeah your hubris your myopia whatever you want to call it you want to keep that in check and realize that as much as you want to play to win a lot of times most of the time you know you're not going to like there's going to be a counter to every defense and as hard as you try you're not going to beat everybody um so yeah just something to keep in mind food for thought is is just remember um don't play to lose but also don't play assuming you can beat everybody or you can make a defense team that's going to beat everybody. Um, but yeah, so like I said, might run Duma here with the, the bonds and see how that goes because that gives him 10 defense. So he's at 45, uh, making it hard to kill. Um, like I said, I think I was talking about it and I kind of rambled on and I forgot about it. But I'm really starting to think that maybe uh, I should run the Fortress Res defense on her. I have two of them, so I have enough to burn. Uh, I really kind of don't want to, but like, you really want to make sure you ensure her survival. Um, yeah, so, I mean, you lose attack, which is... It's going to be fine. Um, it's not that big a deal. But uh, you gain so much more in this. Uh, the speed... You're going to lose a lot of speed, right? Because, for one, you're losing the three speed. She's going to go down to 37. But also, you're not running any... I'm not... Well, I'm not running any more um, goads aside from her. So she's going to be stuck at 37. Her weapon gives her 4, right? Yeah, 4. So she's at 41. But uh, she's not going to outspeed anybody. And she's probably just going to get doubled constantly is the uh, one of my biggest issues there. Uh, but aside from that, I think that's about all you can really do. Um, we'll, we'll, I think I'm going to give this one more week. I'm going to run this and uh, see... Like I said, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna unlock this and then put the Duma on those bonds, um, just because. As I just now realized, like, while you get two more attack off of this, it's not really wholly worth it. Especially because, like, you saw he hit um, Bike and it barely did anything, and then Bike was able to kill him back. Uh, hopefully, I can survive Bikes a little more, and then hopefully, I can um, fight against um, fight against Leafs a little more. Uh, ideally, I think for the Leaf matchup. You might want to run Lightning Breath here and those two Bonds, so that if he hits you, uh, you can counter him to some degree. I don't know if you'll kill him, but uh, that might help. But I really like this weapon here; gives him another six attack on top of like his sixty-five mon his monster sixty-five attack with the like I said the two Bonds, which is another ten attack. Um. And it patches up his res partially, right? Because if you're going to be giving him a whole bunch of more uh, defense, so it'll be up to like 45 defense, uh, and then he's at like 38 res, which is not too good. But you don't see a lot of like res threats. Like no one CC vantaging with Brunia, you know what I mean? Um, actually, I ran into a uh, CC vantage Sophia team one time. It's kind of interesting. Uh, she was excessively tanky. Uh, but anyway, uh, that's the point is. This is, is pretty strong, especially just because, like, if, if they're below 800 HP, and as you saw, a lot of people didn't even run the, the healing tower, so they didn't bother healing the, the 7 damage he did, um, and he denies follow-up attacks on that, which is pretty good, too. 
Um, so yeah, I think maybe like it's hard to give up this weapon. Um, the problem is that, like if Leaf hit sits here, he's gonna double him and then take his turn again and then double him again. And he's just gonna die. Um, and then he's probably just gonna get danced and then like they're just gonna move out of the way. Uh, is what it comes down to. Um, so yeah, like you know, th there's a lot of possible things you can do. Uh, but I think the biggest, most important takeaway from this is I need a red threat. Like, I, I just, I can't go without a red threat. Uh, having three greens is is, is very detrimental. Um, fortunately, I'm going to have to go with this for a while because I don't have another red threat to put on there. Um, Aversa is a red mage that with Duma and like, Again, the plus seven from the Camilla on attack and speed. She can do some damage, but she's not designed to do damage. So you're sort of going against the grain there, um, which is problematic, I think. Um, but yeah, so like I said, this is this is going to be the biggest detriment here on top of the fact that I'm not running Ashnard here. Like Ashnard here would solve quite a bit of my problems, um, <laughs> but uh, stubbornness is... Uh, is a trait that uh, I guess is a part of me in this in this sense. So I'm going to be playing with Camilla till uh, forever, unfortunately, uh, for me anyway. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Um, hopefully, this is somewhat informative. It's a bit rambly. It's a bit longer than it needs to be, but uh, uh, yeah. So I mean, I don't have enough people subscribed to me to like live stream this because it's just going to be like me and one other person, or if that. I mean, probably most people aren't going to like jump in for that. Um, it's also kind of hard to tell because nobody comments, so like I don't know if anybody wants that or anybody, like nobody interacts with me other than you, Deuce. Uh, shout out to you, the only person uh, who's uh, communicated on here. Uh, not even on these videos, right? So you know, even less on these. But yeah, so that's it. That's it for today. Uh, hopefully, you could extract some knowledge from this. Uh, the Aether Rays offense video is going to be out tomorrow, and uh, the Guild War video is probably going to be out later today. Uh, so that's that.